I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most oh, he's Jesus. Of course. They have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I just want experience from delivering this letter or whatever. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. What happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Let me no, speak to him anyway, sure. right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. I think you can. You wish to speak to me again? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to him. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. Well, that is way overused, that uh, little term of freeze, whatever. You are free to <clears> roam <throat> the common area of our home as our guest. So I guess I had to get through that first uh, conversation tree to get to that second, because first he won't let me see Ian, and then he will. Because I did it all at once. Ian's in there. Let's go and see if there's anything that we can nick. I think it's for- ah, oh, for god's sake. Lockpick, 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 lockpick. What's this? Nothing. Nothing? Really? I don't want any of that. Mm. Yoink. Well, look, I'm gonna steal something. Just turpentine. Oh, is it whiskey? Empty bottle of whiskey. There's no one in here, is there? I mean, I find in Fallout that sometimes, even if the door is closed and locked and everything else, that uh, sometimes the NPCs like follow you into the room, like watch you, or I don't know. But they've caught me a few times just from like following me about. Wouldn't be that bad of a thing if they, these guys caught me, because who cares about them? Nothing in there. Unlock the door. Yo, what's up, Ian? Wakey, wakey. That guy, Evan Kane, actually said that Lance, or Vance, whatever his name is, Lance Vance, was uh, talking to him down in the river, Ian West, so he probably brainwashed him or something. How'd you get in here? Yeah, the door there. Huh? What do you want? I'm looking I guess for I you. shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. He's worried I about bet he you. Has the entire town out looking for me. She's worse than my parents. Worse tasting or something? You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? Look, I know what you did. Fans told me everything. You must think I'm some kind of a monster. Yep. There you go. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. 
The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives no, she's... a shit about me except Vance and the she's family. Alive? Can't you understand that? There's that speech thing again. It's really taunting me every time. But I'm gonna stick by my my guns and say, "Fuck speech." Read this letter. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, Worse. tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. You do that, you stupid arse. Oh, it's fuck all in here anyway. Was there something? Nope. <clears throat> Eh, let's get in here. Tell Vance he's lost his initiate. Okay. Fuck it, he'll see me. I don't actually know if he cares, but... I suppose it's not his stuff, but... You know. At the end of the day... Fuck it. Here. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am right. interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Well, what about Arfi? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Leave them f the fuck alone, you dirty, stupid vampire. Is that civil enough for you? Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Bullet to the face. Mm. We'll sell your blood packs and leave the town alone, or you protect them. Bip, bip, bip. Protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Well... It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that... Guide him to drink blood. ...has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Hasn't it though? Yay, it's come on for the shish kebab. So the shish kebab is actually this thing that he has. Uh, a motorcycle. I need a motorcycle tank and uh, some other stuff. But it's a flaming sword, basically. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to Arafu. So, uh, one to beam up. Okay, and here we are at Arafu. Uh, I thought I'd save you the trouble uh, of watching me travel all the way back here. The only thing I did actually find is when I went out of that place, there was a, another scavenger, and I, I got him to repair my stuff and all that other stuff, and then killed him, and took everything off him. He also had a, he had a Brahmin as well, so that was full of stuff. It's great. I got loads of crap. I'm surprised to see Look, my, my burden is now, like, 2 to 9 so... Run for the hills. Yeah, I need to find a traitor fast. There she is! The heroine of the day! Heroine? Where? I need to shoot up. Right, dear, yeah. I know. It's all done. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. How did he beat me here? I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Oh, there we go. And there's that quest. Right, I have a proposal. Vance, the family leader. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. Mm -hmm. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. 
I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Of course they will. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. 